Okay, as you can see, I've got the back panel out of the back box. I just find it easier to work on like this uh, when I'm totally going through one of them. And uh, we'll just kind of go along and show you some things I've noticed already and things that are going to need some tension. All right, this here is the ball popper for the back box animation. This is what sends the ball up. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but right there, the shaft on that is really scored, which means the plunger is going to need, or not the plunger, but the... The coil sleeve, uh, if it's a plastic replaceable one, or if it's something I can replace, uh, that's going to need some attention or at least some cleaning up, polishing maybe. So I'm not sure what I'll do there. Right here we've got uh, just a couple scoring relays. And we've got 1 point, 10 point, 100 point. So I'll just pop these uh, leaf switch stacks apart and clean them up. It won't take long at all. On the side here, we've got a rollover lane adjustment for um, probably when it pops a ball. I, I don't have any information on this machine, so we'll just have to figure it out because we've got liberal and conservative. So it says rollover lane adjustment for rack balls. Possibly um, one or both lanes would be lit in one spot or the other to make it easier or harder to uh, have them lit to pop a ball up there. This is the coil that, um, once the balls are up here, probably when you start a new game, this coil will pop and all the balls will drop back down out of sight. This is the ball count unit. It's kind of a dual layer thing. We've got the mechanism up on top here, which uh, adds your balls as you win them. And as, you, uh, as the ball goes down, it minuses them out. And then on the bottom, it's got a uh, phenolic board um, with some contacts on it and we got a couple screws here and here and this thing actually is on a hinge it'll flip out so we can work on the other side then we've got your two uh, sound devices here we got a bell and a bar both bells I suppose um, and just kinda for fun this one's got a uh, black and gray wire and this one's got an orange wire so we can figure out what their purpose is. They both have a common black. So if we go here to the 100 point relay, we see orange. And we see orange. So that means the bar is going to be your 100 point and 10 point. And up here we see the orange and gray. So it's the 1 point. So this bell is the 1 point bell. And finally, we've got the score reels. And uh, these don't look too bad. But I'll take each one apart, make sure it works okay, clean the switches and whatnot. Let's go around the pole here. But uh, yeah, they're pretty clean. Um, yeah, one more thing on this side I noticed. One of these was not put back in all the way. Um, if we look at where the pin goes through. Let's see if we can get some focus on here. So it's got a hole here for this clip, and the clip goes here. First three are like that, and the last one is not. It, there's the hole for it, and it's actually above it. So no harm is done, it just doesn't look great from the front of the glass. So I'm going to dig into this guy, and uh, we'll see how it goes, but should be pretty good. Okay, a little bit of an update here. Um, I'm just about done on the backboard here. I've finished up with this guy. Everything turned out real good here. Um, I did notice that at one point somebody had used WD-40 or something like that on here. How can I tell? Because some of these leaf switches are green and that's a real clear sign of WD-40. It actually corrodes the metal. Um, but that's all working great now. Got everything cleaned up here. Uh, no surprises on these guys. When I got to the chime and the bell there was a bit of a surprise. This is the old chime coil and the plunger was stuck in it like that. And I thought that's a little weird. So luckily I was able to push the plunger out the other way. And it turns out that this chime 
is for the uh, what is it it's for the uh, 10 and 100 points this is an older style chime from what I was able to or, um, plunger from what I was able to ascertain and these normally have a little nylon insert in them here's this little tip so something I was gonna try was I went down to the hardware store and I picked up some nylon bolts and I figure I can use these to replicate that nylon piece that's normally in the end here this is uh, one of from the bell so it's got a little nylon tip there and what happens is as this keeps hitting the bell and whatnot uh, loosens up and pops out so a lot of times you'll find these missing and it's just not good and it gives you a bad sound but so I, I actually had another plunger here and uh, another coil which happened to be for a chime and I was able to swap it out and use that plunger and it's got the little nylon piece right on it and getting on to the score reels I uh, just started looking at them no big huge surprise here but um, let's see where's it at this is the housing for the uh, one point score reel as you can see it's rather stained and it was the worst looking of all of them it's really not bad still usable but I picked up a whole bunch of uh, shuffle alley parts and while this one's a little rusty looking uh, it's clean it's pretty much never been used hardly at all and um, I'll use that housing and I'm gonna use the coil stop because this one's quite hammered and I'm also gonna use in in there this component as you can see here this thing has just had it it's all worn out time to replace it make it look like new and one more thing I replaced these light sockets here I probably could have made them work but this thing has had some weird moisture at one point some mold or something so all these sockets had just a nice white crusty coating on them like I said I could have cleaned them up and could have fixed them but they were so bad I just decided to just decided to replace them and these turned out good. They're brand new sockets I put in. So. Okay, got a little update here. Um, finished the backside, got the score reels all back in. And uh, just thought I'd give you a little tip here. We got the front side done. We got the balls all cleaned up. Got all the lights set in the place. But. Um, Here's a quick way to check light bulbs. Um, I'm using a lot of the light bulbs on this just for economy and they're they're still good. But um, what I got over here is a 9 volt battery and I know these are 6 volt bulbs but when you attach more than a couple the voltage on the 9 volt drops rapidly. So I've got uh, I've got it hooked into the GI circuit so we'll see the main ones turn on here and they're not burning out or anything but um, since I've got my trusty bag of bulbs and I took all the ones that were in here cleaned them up and the the ones that were way too black or just didn't look very good um, those got put aside most of them were good though so if you just set the bulb in here you can verify it's good and you can verify the socket's gonna work now the one 9 volt bulb will not power all the not all the GI here but uh, just kind of a neat little trick you can do and then when I'm done here I'll just twist them all in and they should all work alrighty thank you very much